Let's get into just some fields here. Get a little chit chat. The good, the bad, the ugly. What do you What do you got for me over there? What do Jay I Wade? have? You kicking yeah. right to me? I got yeah. stats and facts. Would you like real real talk or would you like well, opinion based? Or what are you looking for? I'm not. You would have to probably narrow it down to just a, just a few games because it was pretty bad there to start. And Overall, so the stats are terrible. If you're looking broadly at what's going on, it probably wasn't that good. Mm -mm. Um, he's so. got a he's got a one to two touchdown to interception ratio. That's that's two interceptions for every touchdown. Four and eight. Uh, he's 31st in the league with completion percentage of 59.4%. Uh, let's see, 28th in passing yards, taking the most sacks with 29. He's had seven. He's seventh in danger plays. Mm. Not exactly sure what that is, but it doesn't sound good. Russell Danger Wilson's probably one, huh? Well, <laughs> I think the danger. I think the danger, danger play. Danger Russ. Yeah, I don't think they meant it in a good way. Uh, he's uh, thrown a lot of interceptable passes, mm. ninth most. Maybe if he did a couple more mental reps before the game and like Russ broke the huddle, he'd be mm -hmm. a little better. But mm -hmm. mm. um, core ball. Terrible pass catchable rate. So he's not throwing catchable balls. Not throwing he's catchable balls. I mean, sometimes you, you see that guy who's just throwing the ball, and you're like, man, that looks catchable. Yeah. <laughs> and not, not, not the case. Uh, but he does have the most air yards per attempt. So that, that means he's good, right? Air yards are all that matters, isn't it? It means that there's hope at the end of the tunnel. He takes the most deep shots. Mm -hmm. A lot of air yards. Terrible balls, though. A lot of interceptable balls, dangerous plays, ton yeah. of sacks, holding the ball too long. The offensive line is not playing well. No, that, that's all. Everybody knows that. They're dead uh, last in adjusted sack rate at 11.7% well, from a pass pro, and then 21st in adjusted line yards. So they're not creating a lot of help for their running backs. He is also leading the league in sacks, and he, had, he didn't play a game the first game and a half. Right. Um, so that gives you a little bit of, you know, that the – that the line isn't very good. Also, the fact that he probably wasn't very comfortable and holding the ball a little too long, not relying on his legs enough. You would hope that number would, you know, not be as high because he can run, but, you know, probably it, just wasn't being as comfortable. But now you're seeing him get a little more comfortable. You're seeing him use those legs. He had 100 yards. Two games. Had 100 yards against the Niners, and then I think 50 or 40, high 40s against. So, you know, the average is somewhere around like 67 yards per game. And now that now we're talking about what you what you wanted in your Justin Fields stock and so, so like I said if you take if you're just looking at those numbers you're like god this guy's horrible it's terrible um, numbers but he's a rookie uh got thrown into a situation where you know they were probably counting on Andy Dalton playing most of this year and seeing how it went that didn't happen the 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 uh the groundswell for Fields to get in there and stay in there you know erupted and here we are and you've been seeing the growing pains and it hasn't been good he looked bad in the preseason he looked bad in those first couple of games but now but the, even the body language right you see right. him on the sideline and he's just sitting there like yes yeah, salty you know, disengaged his right. body language is is out and he's like frustrated visual, visually upset but that that was earlier on the season and i gotta give him credit these last couple of games all they weren't perfect but he showed moxie and he stayed in it to yeah. the end and he kept them in those games right those niner games like it's been it hadn't it hasn't been quite full games in those it's been a couple right. of pieces here and there in some quarters last last week was a terrible game to watch penalty wise oh, so um, and, and, the, and both sides were being affected by it um but then you had a nice fourth quarter by Fields there. Uh, nice he stuck it quarter. out. If he stuck it out Monday right. night, a nice a fourth quarter finish. against the Niners. Broke off a big run um, where the uh, run probability on that uh, score there was. Uh, oh yeah, I was I was saving that one. I was waiting for you to bring it up because that's the thing, right? So like he, he can sulk and he can he can throw bad balls and, and throw interceptions and take big hits, but he but he stays in it and he sticks with it. And then every once in a while he'll pop off something that shows you, oh damn, the talent definitely is there. And if he can just keep putting it all together, um, and you reference that it was a 22 yard highlight run in that game versus the, the Niners mm, I believe so uh next gen stats guess what the percentage of chance of scoring was what was it 2.3 percent mm. chance of scoring on that play yeah now what how a, they calculate that what a great stat that is like anybody should give a flying well, fuck about I don't even know why they ran the play things. then yeah right I don't know why he, there's only yeah, a 2.3 percent chance throw it out just kneel it's down not gonna work kneel down right they should have just hit him with the radio hey you got 2.8 Kneel let's, down. Let's just punt. Yeah, you're not gonna you're not gonna score on this play. Gotta live to fight another day. Like these next gens, every time I see one, I, know I it can't. Just when kills that win Casey. probability <laughs> yeah. pops up in the middle of the fourth quarter, or like three minutes, I'm like, get the fuck Dude, out of here with this stupid shit. We were watching a game and it was like 
nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and the team was down by six, and there was like a 20% win probability. I'm like, what in the world? I think it was the Cowboys game against the Patriots, and they came back, and then it went to overtime, and they ended up winning. Um, but anyway. It's insane. Um, what is so, going on? But that's what you're looking for uh, with, with a, a rookie quarterback and a These player Russians. like Fields. You're looking for just signs that he's showing improvement. He's getting better. He's starting to understand things a little better. Um, you know, that Pittsburgh D is pretty good. The Niners D has been good in spurts, but trash in other spurts. Um, that, w- that was a pretty good game for him. Great, good comeback win for the Niners. And then, you know, I guess a good comeback win for the for the Steelers with a little assistance. What a blunt. Um, I'd be so pissed if I was a Steelers fan. And, and, and like, I'm like not Bears fan. Well, I, I think as a Bears fan, I'd be like encouraged, you know, because he stuck. It was twenty to six, I think, in like the fourth quarter. Yeah, he, I just meant as they came back, the Steelers came back and won after a. a I mean, what are help, you going to do? Helped out. Yeah, what are you going to do? You leave too much time on yeah. the, on the clock, and and these offenses are going to get in field goal range, you right. know. And then he made it. Like, what are you going to do? But the, but I, as a Bears fan, I would sure. be very encouraged. Hundred percent. And as a Fields doubter in a way that, that those those games in that last quarter and just seeing him stick with it and not get discouraged not let his body language take over not let his attitude and his energy get right. fester to the rest of the team instead he stuck in it stuck with it kept them in there and, and and his talent was able to bring him back and they should have fucking won yeah. what are you gonna do if you lose on a last second field goal you know right. what are you gonna do but but as a bears fan i'd be like very encouraged by that because yeah you, you see you're seeing improvement right that, exactly that's, better than that's what these my, numbers show well and i think if you shrunk those which you you didn't kind of shrink them down to maybe like that two game sample that they were in, and if you did, I saw some stats on on the Twitter machine on the bird, as people like to call it. That's what they call it. Um, that that are that were very good and very promising, top five, one through ten in a lot of categories uh, that the that the stat nerds care about, um, and. For just uh, along with watching him and showing, like you said, there's been signs of improvement. The rushing, if he can be at six, averaging 60 yards a uh, a game, that's that's it's that's money touchdown. in the bank. Shorty, what you think? Right. Um. And that's what you're. That's what you want with with these rushing quarterbacks. That's what you want with the rookie to see them progressing and and moving a little bit uh towards like oh there oh shit there was a play right there that showed me what could happen. Oh, now he's putting a couple of those together. Oh shit. There's the legs, uh, bailing them out. So I think all of those things were good. Um, so I'm, I'm, I like what I'm seeing from Justin Fields, probably going to be a, you know, another year before he really could show you what's exactly going on. But, uh, no, but you're seeing the fantasy floor come to fruition, right. almost feeling like he could start this man, and 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 now they're in, they're in a bye week this week, so have a, have a week to for the team to get healthy, figure some more things out, get Montgomery back in the fold. And the big thing with with you know Fields is that I don't have to worry about his job, right? Right, he's a rookie. You do kind of have to worry about the head coach's job. That could be good or bad with the firing of Matt Nagy. I don't think. Look, reading some stuff that the Bears chairman, George McCaskey, said that, that all they wanted to see was progress. They weren't putting like a win total on this season in terms of Matt Nagy keeping his job. He is signed through 22, but that's still kind of like being a sitting duck. They haven't mm-hmm. extended him. But, you know, it could be good or bad continuity. So I, I don't know. I'm pretty neutral on the head coaching situation there. Yeah. But it, I know that Fields is going to be the starter next year, which in terms right. of like a. a, a, a just a, a, a Jalen Hurts, I don't know right. if he's going to be a starter right. next year in the NFL. Fields is on the upper trajectory. Yeah. We've seen that the past two games, and that's something to get excited about. For sure. Um, and then you flip it to the flip side of this thing, and to me, um, you got Allen Robinson, who is not – you're thinking coming into this, well, this might be the best quarterback situation he's had since he's been a Bear, maybe even ever. He's got Andy Dalton, and if Andy Dalton, if they end up – phasing Andy Dalton out halfway through the season and going with Fields, then Fields should be, you know, ready to go in a nice upgrade, maybe have a game or two of struggles and then be ready to roll. Um, but it, it hasn't really worked out for your boy A-Rob. But on the on the flip side of it, Darnell Mooney looks like he and A-Rob kind of have a little bond going on. And He and Fields. Or, yeah, Darnell Mooney and Fields kind of have A-Rob a little, hates um, Mooney, I little bond like. going on. <laughs> and, you know, a- Allen Robinson's on the franchise tag. Not long for probably staying around in there. Please, um, A-Rob, go somewhere you want to go. So I, there, some money. I think there's certainly a buy 
low on Allen Robinson right now that you could go get. But I think that there's a also still a buy low on Darnell Mooney, who is going to be attached to Justin Fields for a while. Now, they certainly will bring somebody else in, whether it's another drafted rookie or if it's a free agent player. They obviously need other wide receivers uh, to, to, to help um, Mooney out and Fields out and, and help their progression to keep moving forward. Uh, but Right now, it seems like Darnell Mooney is is the favorite, and he's not going anywhere. Like he's he's out targeted Allen Robinson in all but one of the Justin Fields games, um, and that was his first week starting. Allen Robinson kind of out targeted him. There's been two other additional weeks where they had the same amount of targets, Mooney and A Rob. Uh, but other than that, it's it's been Mooney winning that target share battle um, over and over again. So you know that leads in his in his favor, and then. You know, Mooney's 20th in target separation with 1.77. So that's, you know, a decent stat for a second year player. That was last week. And this week he was down a little bit. And to 20, I did start putting some of this together last week. So 28th this week at 1.69 to A Rob's 1 1. One, No no, uh, decimal points there. Um, So second in cushion rate. so 5.8, so that some of that could be coming from that. They kind of have some data that feels like to throw it deep. Mooney's a burner. Um, right, he's got 4.38 speed. Justin Fields takes a bunch of deep shots. Right. He's getting cushion. Uh, 16th in target share, 25th in total air yards. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how you can keep your pants on with that one. Tied with Marvin Jones in air yards. Yeah, uh, the air yards just seem to be some metric that, that's getting thrown around now is like one of the most important things. So I predictive. Just don't quite it's good to know for it. the future. Yeah. Tied for 29th in air yards per reception, 25th in snap share, 85%. Uh, 34th in total receptions, 34th in uh, yards, 450, 29th in targets, 59, uh, 48th in fantasy points per target. And then he's got 101 total fantasy points to A-Rob's 69. Uh, So just... He's a wide receiver, 33. Right. So nothing extraordinary popping out right now for... No, I mean, there's there's two types of stats that pop out to me when looking at Mooney. And it's it's the, uh, you know... The bad targets, right? He's right. A, he's he's ninety sixth, which is good for third worst in bad target accuracy. Mm-hmm. So uh, we we mentioned earlier, Fields is right. inaccurate balls. It's exactly, translating Gotta bring that full circle. Right. Uh, he has bad target quality rating, sixty seventh overall, seventieth in yak. It's hard to get yak when you're not getting targetable, right? Catchable balls, right? right. And <clears throat> so those are all pretty alarming. But uh, what you do see. That's that's good. Is what you mentioned it is the target share. He's sixteenth in target share, and he's getting twenty five point four percent of the targets. Like right. Fields likes Mooney. You said that <laughs> we need to say it again. Field loves Mooney. Likes like, him some Mooney. Jimmy likes Elaine. Field likes Fields likes certainly um, Mooney. And like you said, some of that is coming from that Fields wasn't very good and he shouldn't have been very good to start the season with a bad O line and, and you know, maybe everything not working quite in the favor how you and, want. And, and, and off season not tailored for him to be the starter. Right. So now you're starting over the last couple of games though you've seen him kind of progress. So you would you think that those numbers of the of the bad accuracy and all those things will start to shrink down a little bit and grow some of Mooney's totals. And maybe these fucking air yards like aren't that like maybe they shouldn't take so many deep shots. Like maybe they should conserve a little bit and well, like actually get, protect them some. But with the deep shot, you have to hold it longer. And he's getting right. hit out the wazoo, not just with sacks, but QB hits. Right. He's taking so beatings. They need to, you know, maybe recognize some shorter things, but maybe maybe Fields is, you know, wanting to take those shots. So and and liking the deep shot. And he does have a, you know, a pretty nice cannon. He does have a cannon and a pretty nice uh deep ball accuracy at times uh, hasn't really quite shown up yet. I think over the last two games it's vastly improved. So that's really kind of what I've mostly come here to say is I think that Mooney hasn't quite blown up yet. He's got some numbers and things that, that suggest that the targets are there. The on the field snap share is there. Um, the love affair with Justin Fields is, is looking like it's blossoming and there. It just hasn't quite really come to fruition and really connected for explosion yet so there's probably still a decent amount of room to buy darnell mooney um and like i said they could certainly bring in another a1 stud and in, in 
the draft or and I think the, the Giants have their first round pick, but that doesn't mean you can find certainly find receivers. Yeah, uh, other places or and via free agency. I don't know if Mooney is a one eight. No, no, guy I, I, I'm not saying so he, that he, he is. needs someone like a Rob there. Right. But he, like I said, he has the the uh, some very good numbers and advanced st- stats here that that kind of say, hey. And when you watch him on the field, he's a fast, quick, elusive guy. And I think all of those things could add up to if Justin Fields can get right, that Mooney probably has a decent ceiling that he hasn't even come close to grabbing onto yet. And th- th- listen, there's no a Rob is definitely a better receiver than Mooney. So I'm not trying to say that like, oh, look at Mooney's so much better than a Rob. And that is just like a quarterback comes. We've talked about this before. Like, look at Cooper Cup with Stafford and the, with Stafford. When a quarterback comes in, he picks he, he th- kind of has a guy who's his guy and Mooney's his guy right now. A Rob, for whatever reason, is not the guy. Now, this last week, we saw a little bit more they both either are push right. to get a Rob involved or whatever it was. But we saw a little bit more a Rob this week. So again, tied for the second time with Fields uh, with Mooney for targets with Fields. But other than that, it's mostly been the Mooney show. Um, so in short, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly again, you could buy some a Rob because there's, I think there's some buy low and there's still some good a Rob. We, he was supposed to be QB proof and supposed to be in a good situation, but it hasn't worked out. I still think there's some gas in that a Rob tank, but Mooney for me tied to fields right now. Seems like I, I would be wanting to start Mooney over a Rob every week. Um, can't be starting. A-Rob, and, so. uh, I think there's a, a, a nice little floor built in there, especially as, uh, fields improves which he's showing improvement and I think we haven't even seen what the ceiling could be uh, for Darnell Mooney so I like that um, anyone else you want to squeeze in oh there? I mean you got to throw in Komet who the coach says you know he's, he's he's figured it out he's really making some steps forward but big fan of him in the in the offseason I was trying to tell you to, to pick him up everywhere so it seems like maybe they kind of need another guy in this offense to to be able to lean on and and I like where Komet's at I like what you saw out of Komet during this last game. I like what you saw in stretches at the end of the season last year. Um, so I think there's a there's a weapon to be had there, and maybe somebody's frustrated with their Komet, and I'd be uh, I'd try to purchase that guy because I'll take that guy who's tied to Justin Fields as well. Like you said, right. he's not going anywhere, and we've I've at least seen enough flashes of good stuff from Justin Fields here that. Um, Right. You know, I hope I hope Nagy takes a lot of shit, but if Nagy is is a half decent offensive coach that we think he is, if they can get this ship rolling, I'd like to see some continuity stay around there for another year. I know Bears fans don't want to hear about it because you want to see somebody else, but I mean, we'll have to ask Angelo about it next week. If, right, if we have him on, Angelo got to uh, do something with that O line. You, you've been there for a while and it's been bad, so that's that's a negative knock. But I guess maybe you fire pace and keep Nagy for another season. I don't know. I don't know. He's supposed to be this Bears offensive. fans. Let us know what you think in the comments and hit us up with all the in in depth Bears uh, analysis and what you think. And and I don't want the 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 stupid fan opinion of that of you guys are losing, so everybody sucks. But <laughs> NFL fans can be the worst. Yeah, they, well, fan, they can... fa- fanatics are just like let me just give me give me the inside scoop on you know I know that the inside scoop is probably get rid of Nagy, but. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, I can't, I can't decide. Uh, so I was just looking through some trades real quick. It looks like Darnell Mooney's, Mooney's being used in like as throw-ins, you know, so if you can pull off a trade and just throw in Mooney on the I got Mooney as a throw-in in a trade at the end of last season. Right, um, like that. Would you give a two for him? Yes. Yes. What about a Quick. one, give no. back the two? No, no. I saw that go down. No, 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 no. <laughs> But two, two, you're good for sure. Okay, I'll, I'll spend the two. Why not? Yeah, I like I like what's going on. I like all of those things we just talked about. I like the player, um, and I like that Justin feels like to throw deep. This guy's fast. He can play a deep ball. He's good at air yards. <laughs> so uh, how could he not be good? Uh, I want to ask a couple Fields questions here, and mm-hmm. before I do, uh, we left out the best stats for Fields, and, and just to drive it home again, it's the advanced rushing stats. They are the ones that look mm. pretty good. He's fourth in carries. And rushing yards, throwing a couple extra touchdowns, and you could see that go up even, and and, and that's that's why we're so still intrigued with Fields. Um, you gonna take Fields over Lance? No, no, we're still with sticking Lance. with Lance. 
because we did a we did a rookie redraft re redraft last week, and I don't think we didn't make it to the second round. But Big Co took Fields over Lance. Right, we didn't which, get a chance. To I wish dive he was here to, to dive into it a little bit. It could, so, sometimes in mocks he'll just take somebody to see. I know at the end of that he said I took this guy to see how long this guy would stick around. So could have taken Fields to see how long Lance would stick around, or right. you know something along those lines. So I'd love to love to see what he thinks. But I know he was you know he was he was still in on Fields. He just was was a Lance guy because of the Niner system. Maybe he's lost faith in that. Maybe some other people have lost faith in that as well. So you're seeing it's, you know, reactionary. You're seeing right. you saw Lance not be or not be super great in his one start and just run a lot and, and miss some stuff. Have have a couple of OK spots. And now you've seen fields get on the field, struggle and have some good spots if you're actually paying attention and watching. Um, so. Just looking at these numbers, though. Uh, fields or Tua? Fields. Fields. Yeah, I think I said two of the other week. I think I'm gonna have to sway. In, this is uh, uh, this is dynasty. This is why I'm not the most the, the biggest fan of just rankings because yeah. it's like you put them out there once and then it's like somebody comes back like a month later and you're, you you have to like update them almost weekly. I mean you right. I mean it, you shouldn't be. It's not redraft. Tweak. It's not redraft. So you know you, you shouldn't let the weekly shit affect you but like yeah you know there are certainly but things a couple to of be weeks learned of fields finally showing some capability right. up and here and, and for me i wouldn't have moved him but for you maybe you know it happens everybody gets a little you know jumpy here and there on, yeah. on certain guys fields um, are and, and i mean shit and in, in two years two it could be fuck, like oh right. my god two is great and, and fields is is good too um or maybe fields doesn't quite put it together and it's just you know the rushing that is um, making him appealing. Right. It's two games where Fields had him in the game, putting up stats, could have won, and and then two was hurt. So right. the recency bias has me flip-flopping. Right. I've, I'm staying with Fields fantasy-wise. What about Jalen Hurts? Fields or Jalen Hurts? Oh, if I could swap. If I'm contending and I have Jalen Hurts, then I'm just going to say, fuck it, I'll probably eat the loss on what I'm going to take probably at the end of the year because the Eagles will probably replace him. Um, But if I'm middling or at the end and I could swap out a, a say somebody who has fields on a team who drafted him and needs that once the quarterback points from hurts this season, then I would make that swap for sure. I think I could make the swap either way. Uh, I, I Might don't think, as well. I don't think it would be the worst Might idea. Might as well I mean, before the last, it's too late if you, you can. Once he's rushing totals and never, and he and started to take off a little more. And like I said, if he can average sixty yards a game, then the floor's there. Um, he really needs to put together one good quarter to have a you know a twenty point fantasy game. Um, so, all right. Well, you got anything else? I think that's it. All right. We'll hit the Bye, Tyler Johnson. music. By Tyler Johnson. By Noah Fan. By um, Darnell Par- Parham. Donald Parham, he's oh, on I mean, the up. You should have already bought him. Which, yeah, if, you have, if you've been listening to us, you know about that, but he's on the up. All right, well, appreciate you guys sticking with us. If you're watching on the YouTubes, let me get that subby, scribey, noty. Where's it at? Come on. It's not putting it up. I'm going to break this thing. Anyway, if you're listening on the podcast, we appreciate y'all, and we'll see you next time. Peace.